we now move to impose order on the delivery of messages from various broadcasts. We do this by looking to causal order broadcast. So here is a motivating example. So assume we have a chat application where a group of individuals can build groups. And the idea is whatever written in a chat room is reliably broadcast to the group. And now assume that we get the following output. The following output says, Paris says, are you sure the lecture is not in room B? Large says, room C at Electrum. And then Cosman says, does anyone knows where is the lecture today? Obviously, the order of these messages are mixed up. The right order is basically Cosman saying, does anyone know where is the lecture? And then Large answered, room C at Electrum. And then Paris answered, are you sure the lecture is not a room B? So we say that Cosman's message caused Large's message to be delivered. And Large's message caused Paris message to be delivered to all individuals in the group. A question then is, does uniform reliable broadcast remedy this? Of course, uniform reliable broadcast does not impose any order between messages. So if a process broadcasts message M1 first and then broadcasts message M2 later, there is no guarantee that M1 will be delivered to all processes in that group before M2. So to solve this problem, we use causal reliable broadcast. And the idea is that deliveries of the message will be in causal order. And what we mean here by causal order will be clear very soon. The basic idea is to go back to the happen before relations between events. And what we want is that the delivery of the messages will respect the causal order between the different broadcasts. Causality, in this case, is the same as the happen before relation by Lampert. So let us review the happen before relation. So we are talking about cause-effect relations in message passing system. And we say that an event E1 in an execution may potentially have caused another event E2 if the following relation, called the happen before relation, and we use this notation where we skip the trace or the execution. So the notation here, E1 happens before E2, holds. And just to remind you, what is the happen before relation? So let us look to it. So the happen before relation says, E1 happens before E2 if events E1 and E2 occur on the same process and the action caused by event E1 happens on that process before the action caused by event E2. In this case, we say E1 happens before E2. Or if E1 is the transmission of a message M at process P, and E2 is the reception or the delivery of that message at process Q. Then we say E1 happens before E2. And also we said that the happen before relation is transitive, which means there exists some event E prime such that E1 happens before E prime and E prime happens before E2. In this case then E1 happens before E2. So pictorially, here are the different situations. We have three processes, P1, P2, 
and P3. Here is this event happens before E2 on the same process. Here is a send event and here is a delivery event. And here is a send event that happens before event E prime and E primes happens before E2, therefore E1 happens before E2. So, so far, we did not consider ordering among messages. In particular, we considered all messages sent or broadcasted are independent, which would mean that two messages from the same process might not be delivered in the order they were broadcast. Message M1 could be broadcast before message M2, but the delivery of M2 could happen before M1. And that is what we said here. A message M1 that causes a message M2 might be delivered by some process after M2. So what causal broadcast means? It means that the causality between broadcast events is preserved by the corresponding delivery events, which would mean that if event broadcast M1 happens before broadcast M2, so any delivery of M2 cannot happen before a delivery of M1 on any process. So all processes must respect the happen before order of the broadcast events. So now we can define the causality between messages. Before we had causality between events, now we are going to define the causality between messages. And we say the following. Assume we have messages M1 and M2. We say that M1 causally precedes M2 if one of the following conditions is satisfied. So the first condition is called FIFO order. And this is saying that some process PI broadcast M1 before broadcasting M2. Then we have network order, which say some process PI delivers M1 and later broadcast M2. In this case, M1 is causally before or causally precedes M2. And the relation is transitive. M1 causally precedes M2. If there is a message M prime such that M1 causally precedes M prime and M prime causally precedes M2. You can notice from this definition that what we are trying to do is to preserve the delivery order of messages according to the happen before relation of the broadcast events. So let us practice these different definitions. And we start with FIFO order, where a process first broadcasts M1 and then broadcasts M2. And we have two executions here. One of them is correct and obeys the relation, and the other is wrong. So which one is correct and which one is wrong? So here we have M1 is before M2. M1 causally precedes M2. So the delivery should happen on that order. So at process P1, the delivery of M1 is before the delivery of M2. At process P2, the delivery of M2 here is before the delivery of M1. So this violates the FIFO order. So this scenario A, or execution A, does not satisfy causality here. If we look to the second scenario, B, we see at P1, M1 is before M2. At P2, M1 is before M2. So execution B satisfies the FIFO order. Let us look now to the network order. And the network order says some process PI delivers M1 and later delivers M2. So here is the situation again. M1 is broadcast and then delivered to P2 and then P2 broadcast a message. So we have 
m1 before m2 and then we have to see if the delivery order is the same at process p1 m1 is delivered before m2 so that is fine at p2 m1 is delivered before m2 that is fine and at p3 m1 is delivered before m2 just to look immediately to the, to the other scenario this was a and that is b we see here that m2 is delivered before m1 so scenario b that will not satisfy network order now we look to transitivity we have a here and we have b here and let us look and see what order we have this broadcast happens before this broadcast and that broadcast by of m2 happens before the broadcast of m3 so we have m1 causally precedes m2 and causally precedes m3 so let us see if that is satisfied by the delivery at each process so here is at p1 we deliver here m2 then we deliver m3 but then we deliver m1 and that violates transitivity and therefore execution a does not satisfy causally precede relation between messages so this does not deliver message in a causal order whereas in this scenario scenario b we have m1 before m2 before m3 here and here we have m1 before m2 before m3 and at process p3 m1 comes first and m2 and then m3 so that execution b satisfies causality